Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. At the moment, we are lost in the most dense woods ever. I have no idea where Andy is. Bear's down here next to me making all the noise. We can hear dogs barking in the distance. And this is freaky. Well, there's no internet at all. There's no way of knowing where each other are. He's gone. And I'm clueless. I'm scared to death of sending Bear off. Because it is literally horrendous all the way around. I haven't heard a noise from Andy for absolutely ages. No cracking of sticks. No light flashing. No shouting, no voice. I have no idea where he is. As you can see, I'm just surrounded at the moment by just woods. There's, there's nowhere to go either. It's just all the same. It's like little rat runs all the way through. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can find him and not lose this one at the same time. Right, before we go any further, I just want to talk to you about a partnership we've got with MyHeritage.com for this video. Now, as you know, we go around abandoned buildings all over the world and look at people's history, the background, the photos, and we don't really spend time looking at our own. So we've partnered up with MyHeritage.com to do a DNA test on Andy to see exactly where he's from, see if he's got any relatives that are sort of linked to him on the site. So let's get across and send that test off. The process for the DNA literally couldn't be any easier. Go on your mobile, order the kit, and once that arrives, which was really, really fast, by the way, you get a little swab, you can get your little pack and you can see I've got it there in front of me. All you do, it's really simple, you get the little pot with the little code on, you match that up to the website, get your swab, stick it in your mouth, rub it round and round and round. This is really, really simple, literally in the side of your mouth for a couple of minutes. Away you go, and back in the pot. Once it's back in the pot, then it gets sent off and it's no time at all before it comes back. And it is so exciting waiting for the results to come. Anyway, let's have a look and see what those results are. Right, the results are back. Are you excited? The results are in. Yes, I am very, very excited for oh, you. Dear. I'm going to get it up on screen and you will be able to see it. Andy hasn't got his glasses on, so he'll not be able to see I anything. I can't see, you know, unless it's letters about this big. I'll be fine. Right. It says, Andrew, are you ready to explore your ethnicity? I am ready. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I love that. You know what? It's all a bit exciting. My pants are I'm going to have to read it. Andrew, are you? You are 51.4% Irish, Scottish and Welsh. Take that. 41% English. So you are more Scottish or Irish and Welsh than you are English. What's up next? Ooh, 3.8% North African. That's really interesting, isn't it? 1.5% Nigerian. Nigerian. Oh, my Lord. No. Yeah, you are. And 1.5% Central Asian. What does that cover? Uh, that is like Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, all around there. So you're mainly, you're predominantly English, Irish, Scottish and Welsh. Which is not expected. But North African, Nigerian and Central Asia. That's crazy. I think that's mad. I wouldn't have thought of any of those at all. No, but if you think over years though, like people move about, don't they? So like say when the Romans moved, they brought a lot of people with them because a lot of the Romans weren't from Rome. They'd never seen Rome. They'd never been there. And a lot of the stuff that happened was in North Africa, wasn't it? They moved from North Africa. So it could be that they moved up and through and, and then settled in the UK. I thought it'd be more like the Scandinavian countries, mate. You know what? I had a feeling about that as well. I thought potentially it could be that. Yeah. But, but never no. Nigerian in a million years. And more Irish, Scottish and Welsh than English. Yeah. Which, which is bizarre. So yeah, I, I'm in really, really Not impressed even English. with that. <laughs> 
you are English. <laughs> You're just more Irish. Well, that makes sense. Scottish and Welsh. Yeah. So, yeah, that's mad. But yeah, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan as that's, well. That's just weird. Um, the thing is, we've been talking about going round there. We have, haven't we? So that's mad. That is really, really strange. Right, so we've had a look at the areas you're from. Let's have a look at the full ethnicity Ooh. estimate. And your DNA matches as well. Let's That's go. what I'm excited for, you know. Like, if you've got any relatives out there. What if, you, what if a subscriber's one of your relatives? That would just be weird. That would be so strange. But well, so good. It would be good. But yeah, right. So we've seen all these, the breakdowns. Yeah. I think you can click down onto them as well and see, like, which... Oh, look, Yorkshire. Sounds so, about right. Yeah, so that's that's one of the areas, obviously, you, you're from. You can go backwards and forwards and look at all the different bits. So it tells you which parts of, of which bits you're from as well, which I think is really, really good. So you're going to have a chance to have a play with that and have a look round, you know what I mean? Spend some time and, and have a look at it. Right, DNA matches. I don't know if there's been chance yet for any DNA matches. Oh, there has. Has there? There has, just a minute. Let me just get past this little bit. It's just That's really good because it explains it as well, like who's what. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to push it over so you can't see. See if you recognise it. You might recognise some of these people because they may have done it. Um, now, I'll, I'll say the name, but I can't say the surname because it's not fair. So this is a first cousin, a first cousin's daughter, or a sec technically a second cousin. Yeah. Called Kelly. You, can you not see it? You could use your eyes. Do you recognise this person? No. No. What about Luke, who's your second cousin's son? No. No. So th they're both from the UK. And potentially, you could know them. There's, there's all sorts of people... Parents' second cousin. Oh, so your parents' second cousin. Oh, I thought it'd only do yours. But yeah, it's, I did. Goes, it goes sort of diagonally backwards as well. So that's really good. So you've got that name and that name. So I wonder if they're related. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah I wonder if there's any abroad. Oh, States. Yeah, Joanne. Third cousin from America. That's really good. That's weird. You've got, let's have a look. That's the UK. America again. UK. Um, where are they? Oh, I thought that was some... That's... That looks um, Greek. Greek, yeah. Or something like that. That's really good. Like, first cousin's daughter, or second cousin, is really close. Yeah. That's somebody really close in your family. So you've got the opportunity... See, that could be the married name. Well, yeah, this is it. So you, you don't just, know. You just not know. No, you don't know. And it gives you the opportunity to contact them as well. So you can you can speak to them and see if it is somebody that you are related to. That's going to be good for me. It is. It's it's going to be so much fun. I know it is. I'm going to have to sign up for this now. That's it. It's that's it. I, I've got no choice. I've got to do it. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get into your family history and you know the amount of photographs and things we look through from people's family history, yeah. like we go through other people's family history, but we don't really spend the time to do it on, for ourselves. So if you want to get into your family history, you want to get into all this then myheritage.com, absolutely amazing. And we've just seen the tip of the it's iceberg. A snippet. Exactly. There's going to be so, so much more in there uh, for Andy to have a look through. Right. How amazing was that? Now, be honest. How many of you actually guessed that Andy would be from Africa or Asia? Because I know I didn't, and I know it shocked him. But it makes me wonder what where I'm from, what my background is. I've got a bit of an idea. I think I know... I want to know now for definite. So I'm definitely going to do this at some point. What about you guys? Do you want to do it? Do you want to find out about your family background? It's so easy to do. And what we'll do is we can give you a code, which is finders. And all you need to do is put that in on the link in the description. So click on the link in the description, put that code in, you'll get free delivery. And away you go, finding out, out a whole new world of your history and your family. Anyway, I need to get looking for Andy in this forest. So come with me, let's go and see if I can find him and let's get on with the video. Right, so I've made my way around a little bit further towards where I think we're supposed to be going. Like I said, there's no signal at all. I 
I've no idea where he is. I keep hearing noises. Bear, come here. Bear, come here. Bear's gone as well now. So I'm literally on my own. Oh, now there's birds flying. Oh, Lord. This is insane. Like, he could... Oh, are you there? Where are you? What? Why could, there's a bloody tree in my way. Why could I see you? I'm coming to try and find you. This is insane. I don't even know how I'm going to get even out of here. These bears back with me. It's literally hands and knees. This is one of the worst ways into an abandoned house I've ever seen. Bear, can we get down there or not? Is there any way through? I'm gonna have to try. Right, I've got Bear's camera around my neck. This is how close I am. And I'm on my stomach, sliding like a bleeding snake through a jungle. And it just drops down. If I can't get through here, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I get to a dead end and I can't turn round, I am stuck. 100% stuck. Because I am pulling myself on my stomach under like a, a canopy. I'll show you what's in front. Right, so there's just enough room for me to slide down this hill on my stomach. Bears down there, so somewhere, but I don't know where. And I don't even know if I can get out when I get down there. What? Head first down an hill. Why? Uh, fucking and. Uh, Right, if you could see where I was, you wouldn't be going, oh, it's straight in front of you. I'm laid on my stomach, sliding down an hill head first. I can't stand up, I can't move. I'm stuck. You're just going to appear in an hole down here, aren't you? Can you see my torch? No. Oh. Well, you're about, about 20 metres away from me. Which don't give me much hope for being able to get through here. No, I can't see yours. I'm laid on floor. Head, head first down, down an hill. I can't, I can't see anything. I'm just going to have to keep pushing through. This is going to hurt. My T-shirt's like coming off. I've got this bleeding camera in my face. Oh, the blood's rushing to me, bloody head. This is so steep. Where have you gone now? I'm about to fall off a bloody brick wall. Why have you gone? Jesus Christ, I can hear you. I can see where we're supposed to be going. Oh, wow. I thought you were a lot closer than that. What have you been doing? I swear there's like statues. Yeah, there is. It's like a, a statue there. Are you all right? Do you speak? I can't get my breath. I've asked about 80,000 questions and you've answered two. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in my life. And now I'm stuck here. I don't know where I'm going to go. What? You don't need to make your way anywhere. Stay where you are. I'll make my way to you. As you're next to the house that we're going in. Right. There's the house. The problem is, I'm in shorts, and that is a lot of nettles. Just gonna have to do it. 
And he's somewhere over there, because, as usual, he doesn't listen to a word I say and just wanders off. Chuck's lagging me off, I can hear you. Well, I am, because I've just said to you, wait there, I'm coming straight forward. You're like, oh, go and clear a path. Where to? Off your head. To this house. Well, you stood next to it. I am now. You were when you were there. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, you'll, you'll climb through this lot then. I'm going to. All right, then. Have you not seen what I've got to walk through? Yeah. Well then, sure up. Give my mind to walk through. You've got trousers on. Well, that's your stupid fault. Yeah, you didn't see what I just had to slide down, face first. <sighs> right. See, I say horrible things about him, but now he's trying to trying to make a route for me. I think I think there's a pond here, Andy. Just be careful, because I think it's a big drop down to water there. You know. Just be careful. Oh, oh, oh. What's up here? What you, why are you laying down? <laughs> you all right? Ow! It's over here, though. What it is, I can't stand on it. Well, don't stand on it then. I were aiming to go that way, I think. It, it drops down here. I swear there's a pond. So be careful. That's probably the edge of the fence to the pond that you all stood on. What did I just see? What, there? Yes! <laughs> oh. 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 You swear you don't listen to a word oh. I say. I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm laughing, but I've got to do this next. Oh. <laughs> What's up with leg? It's a bit wet. Is it a pond? I've nettled on my face again. Oh god. Right. I'm gonna try I think that bit that looks harder there. Do you think? And this that's just oh. a drop. Nettling your face is horrible. Oh, all of my arms, everything. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make my way over. Right. So I need to get to there. There's a drop there. I don't know if that's solid or not. It looks solid from here. Shall I just risk it and jump? Can. Well, I can, but if I disappear, you're going to have to come and see me. <laughs> this is a right risk. I don't even know if I can push off enough. All right, that didn't end so well. I don't know where my shoe is. I don't mean at all where Andy fell down. I'm proper stuck as well, Andy. Don't you land on my head, please. I'm not. I don't know how I'm going to get up. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. I'm up here. Fucking hell. Right. I'm just going to have to get up. I'm soaking. At least I'm in your car. Yeah, great. <laughs> I don't... I can't... I've got my hand in, like, probably a foot of mud. I'm just, everything's attached to me. Everything's like proper attached. Like brambles all over my clothes. <laughs> and in my arse crack. Oh, that sounded a bit squelchy. Yeah, when we lifted my right foot up. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm eating the fucking bush at the moment. That's nice. Uh, it's not that steep. Yeah, that's not land. <laughs> I've got a problem still. I don't know where my shoe is. Gotta be under here somewhere. Oh, I found it. That I got easy. it. Wait a minute. Bear? I swear, Bear has gone down a tunnel behind me. Can you hear him? Yeah. But look at the state of this. Nice. Is uh, he behind you? He's, I can hear him. Right, there, he's under here somewhere. Come on, there, there, here. I'm here. What are you doing? That's it. Right, we'll get you out first. You ready? Come on, ready. There we go. Right. Look at the absolute state of me. Right, 
If I hold the torch, can you pull my hand? I'm gonna pull you in, aren't I? More than likely. Hang on. Oh. You're gonna slip with this hand, don't you? As well. Oh God, oh, that fucking, wait till I say yeah. You slipped off my hand. You just didn't even, you stopped pulling. I was trying to brace, and then you slipped. I'm suctioned in. Stop moving away from me. I'm trying to brace myself. I'm not going anywhere. I wouldn't let you. You'd drag me in. No, I would fall first. I and then drag me in. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, jeez. Well, that. Ridiculous. And I know I'm cut to bits up back of my leg as well. Yeah. So, this, this place better be bloody worth it now. I am telling you. It better be. Because I'm going home. How bad was that? Really bad. That was one of the worst entrances into an house ever. Ever, ever. It's like I've been shit on. <laughs> yeah, right. If you think that's bad. Have you not seen my legs and my hand? You get, you get all that wiped off before you get in my car. Oh, with now. what? Something in here. There's a I, towel there, look. I'm not using people's towels. I'll use your car. In fact, I'll just be naked. Trust me not, I'll leave you first. I'm not wiping, don't start wiping things down with people's towels. That's just so disrespectful. And it's disrespectful to get in my car when you're full of shit. Yeah, but um, it's your fault. It is. Your fault for being so bloody clumsy. Oh, right, right. I knew where, what I was doing. And then it just oh, went... it's even worse when you know what you're doing. And then it just went a bit wrong, <laughs> didn't it? So, oh, it's bare flashing his torch around. What are you doing? You got his paws like that. <laughs> right. So this oh, place, know to, which way to go. This place looks like there's some amazing stuff, to be fair. However, once again, it's one of these. I cannot stand it when it's like this. It's awful, isn't it? Some of these beams are old, though, aren't they? Yeah, just find myself finger in a hole, then. <laughs> do you know what, what's going to really do my head in, though? What? Your feet. Because you can't stand still. Even if we just stood talking, yeah. your feet are moving on plastic. And it's so annoying. Especially when I'm editing, I want to hurt you. Just want well, to wait. It doesn't make much difference. You're away from me, so you can't. Do you know what? Tonight, I thought to myself, I'm going to be really nice. You've got no. I'm going to be lovely and, and be got... friendly and not pick on you or anything like you that. You can't do it. It's no. just not in your nature. I, until I ended up in a bloody river or whatever it was. And that was my fault. It was. It wasn't. It was your fault. It was your fault that I fell in the river. No. Come right, on to rescue right, you. Right. I said to you <laughs> eight times, there's a pond there. You stood on the edge of the pond. Don't go forward. And what did you do? Stepped off the edge. And push you over the edge. <laughs> Literally. Right. I feel like I don't want to start in this room. I don't know why. It's just giving me bad vibes. And not in a ghosty way. I, I just... don't know which room's doing it best. I know. Well, I ain't looked in any of this. I want to go in there. Can we go in there first? On, and we'll, we'll finish off in here. Oh, well, shut up. <laughs> Andy, this is a bit, it's a bit creepy, you know. It's quite a lot creepy. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Andy. This is weird. You know, I was saying it weren't giving me ghostly vibes. Oh, my. I don't want to turn my back to this, but look at it in here. This is, this is like... I'm a house of horror. Yeah, this is horrendous. Like in a good way. But in a... I, I couldn't be more freaked out if I tried. It is. It's like an add-on this, isn't it? Because there's a tin roof in there. I don't know if you noticed. It's a tin roof. Yeah, I think this bit's the add-on. That one out there. This is... I don't know. This is original. I don't know. Not sure. I think I've cut my bum. It's so, you know, like when you do something and then you don't realise until afterwards. Yeah. Like my bum's suddenly really hurting. Is that a speaker? Is this wall a massive speaker? Looks like it, doesn't it? I'm confused. There's like a huge speaker behind the bookshelf. And you've got your CD player. Look at that. That's nice. Twin tape. Yeah, 1980s. I wonder what's on it. I wonder what's on the tapes. You press play. No, you're recording on it now. Press play and there's like children screaming. Oh, it's all a bit weird and freaky in here. Have you seen this oil lamp? This is good. I do like a good old oil lamp. You do, don't you? I wonder what were in that. 
You know this? Oh, you reckon? I thought it was a picture frame, that. I might be wrong, but... Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you can't see it. No, no glass about though, is it? So I don't know. No. I don't know, but... Let's have a look. How old, how old that one is? I bet that's 1800s, definitely. It is, isn't it? Oh, there's some right good stuff knocking about as well. Look at this. This one says something and foreign, foreign stamps. I don't know what that first word is. Do you? It looks like... English. Oh, is it Eng Oh. <laughs> Can't even read your own language. <laughs> if I don't like... Why is there no capital? I didn't, it didn't look like... It looked like English. English. <laughs> anyway. E? E. Open it up. Oh. They're... Uh, Oh, they're Canadian. Canadian stamps. But it was it's our king, isn't it? Which one's that? God knows, can't even see you. Is it Edward or George? It's one or the other, I think. I think. Might not. I'm not sure if it is or not. It would be if it were Canada, wouldn't it? Look at the writing on it, though. It's been proper looked after. Oh, is that a little stamp? I don't think there's any... Oh. What is that? One penny. That's a... Is it Victoria? Postage... Inland revenue, one penny. Imagine, penny black in middle in front of it. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Indian. There's no stamps in them. Oh, oh. maybe there's some. Oh, look at them. Got a letter. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. For Sierra Leone. It's a, no Droit Witch. No, but it's in a Sierra Leone. Oh yeah, but that says, oh Republic Francaise. So it's from France. Oh Paris, look. Paris. And it says, um, I don't know if he says, uh, is that Angle say? Or Droit Witch? No, that says Droit Witch. Right. The Hollies, that's not here, is it? I don't think so. No. John Toombs. John Toombs sounds an interesting guy, doesn't he? He does, doesn't he? he? Sounds like an undertaker. Yeah. South Australia, Canada. I said I thought they'd all been taken out, these stamps. Yeah, I don't know if you can see where they used to yeah. be. Yeah. But. It is really good that. Look at like where is where is Mecl Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg, yeah. Oh some stamps there. One's Irish and one looks Greek. Mm. Yeah, Greek. Greek and Irish, yeah. It's cut them out. Yeah. I wonder if there's been some really valuable ones in there. Saxony. Wuttenberg. All sorts. That's really good. What's underneath it? Oh, postcards. You know what? Postcards can be worth as much, if not more, than some stamps. Can they? Yeah. I didn't mean these ones. Oh, they're quite... You're just not even giving me a chance to look at them. You're just no. chucking them around. So look in this book, then. Right. Now open it. Because otherwise, it's turned towards you and not towards me. Yeah, I want to look. Oh. Oh, Bruges, we've been there. Yeah. We've sat literally next to that, haven't we? Do you remember where we were eating as chips? That were square. Eating chips? I were eating chips. You You're might more likely. You might chips. not have been eating chips. No, I'm sure you had chips. You had something. Were it chicken? And I had chips. And you get, there were all them shops where you could get chips with like mayonnaise or chips with oh, a sauce. Oh, yes. I had chicken burger. Yes. I thought you'd had chicken. Yeah. God, I've got a good memory because that's like, what, five years ago? Yeah. So <laughs> I remember exactly what you were eating. But yeah, that's in that square. Keep going then. We were sat like here. We were yeah. facing that way. No, we were sat at this end here. You sure? Yeah. I think we were, yeah. We're not going to go all through all of these because there's going to be loads. But if you just want their old Bruges look. I wonder when that's from. I wonder what year. I wonder if there's anything on this, in fact. No. No, that's a shame. It's got to be like early 1900s, if not before. Can't really see me. And the thing is, I can't really date foreign people's clothes either. You can't, can you? No, like you can tell a Victorian's clothes, but it's different in like Belgium and stuff. No, bro, is that? Seen yeah. That go through, maybe go through maybe 10 pages or something in front. Oh, Brussels. Brussels. So it looks like they've done a bit of a tour, doesn't it? And got a, a postcard in each place. 
Go same again, because that's all Brussels. Where are we now? Oh, this these looks like these are more modern. Oh, though look at those cars. They're like twenties, thirties, like and it says Hindenburg. Hindenburg. Yeah, it's Hindenburg. Isn't that where the trials were? Weren't they like the Nazi trials in Hindenburg? I think so. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't think of the airship. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Where were the German trials then? I don't know. Yeah. Where are these? Um, yeah, so these are all in Germany by the looks of things now. Skip. Yeah, where are we now? I don't know. National Theatre, Joseph's Platt. Oh, Munich. Munich, air disaster. Weren't we just talking about it? Yeah, Hindenburg. <laughs> all disasters. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's the Rhine. Uh, yeah, these are all Germany now. Go. Oh, look, look. Oh, swastika. So it must be wartime. It's, oh, it's the Olympics. So when was the Germany, 1930-something, weren't it? The, God, the, you guess as good as mine. No, it were Jesse Owens and all that, weren't it? Were it? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Hindenburg. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. But yeah, Jesse Owens. But that was the Summer Olympics. They wouldn't have had skiing. They'd have Winter Olympics, would they? No. Not that... with Jesse Owens, anyway. Unless well, they no. down a ski slope. Unless they did it all in one go, then. I don't know if they did separate ones, then, did they? I would have thought so. I'm not... Oh, yeah, because Summer Olympics, you're not going to get much snow, are you? Not really. Were... Although there were no snow on that, that. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's really, really good. Have you seen that picture? The one up on there? What is that all about? The new the... version of the screen. That is freaky. Have you seen this thing? That is It's hefty. weird that it's like, it's got to be this way, because you put stuff in there. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. But yeah, it sticks it's... out long ways instead of... Is it heavy? It looks like it's really heavy. God, yeah. You can not even move it at all. No, that's cast iron, isn't it? Wow. Look at these. Very it, isn't it? Look at these things on here, though. Is that like 1920s? I don't think it is. I think it's like reproduction stuff. Yeah. But. Look at there. That as well. And this fireplace just seems wrong. It's like there shouldn't be a fire there. But they've put a big fireplace yeah. in. Like I said, I think that's the outside of the house there, you know. I think this is an add on. Just looking at the roof and everything, it just doesn't look, the yeah. ceiling, it just doesn't look that substantial. No. I think this has been added on later on. This is actually the outside of the house. That's the outer wall. I'm not 100% sure. <gasps> look at these things on here. Oh, look at some of these photos. Be careful because there's broken glass. And there's a new man. Oh, yeah. I've just probably showed that. Yeah, look at these here. Look as well on the bikes. Oh, just pull them out on the bikes. Just be careful of the glass. Look at them. They're old bikes. Look at the wheels on them. They're ridiculous, aren't they? Yeah. When did they wear boaters? Boater hats and... Um, Bowlers? No, boaters. That's a bowler Or straw boater? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure either. And then them as well. They're really good. But yeah, look. Get the princess what's-her-face out. Look at her. Princess. It's all a bit pervy, yeah, isn't it? But it's, um, yeah, some more postcards and stuff. Oh, there's more photos under there as well, I one. think. That's a postcard. Where's that? That looks good that you've got hold of. Great White Horse Hotel, Ipswich, the old courtyard. See, I always think if these pubs still exist, would they want to see these things? Do you know what I mean? Where's that? Uh, Potter's Stoke on Trent. Potter's. Yeah. A bit pussy. That's a new man again. So we're not Why is the pictures of the naked men all over? He looks right quiff. <laughs> he looks a quiff. Oh, he looks happy. Maybe he's Keith. He looks he, like he a looks Keith. He looks like a Keith, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. That's Keith in his younger days or his dad. <laughs> it could be Keith's dad. Oh, yeah. Dapper. And Keith's son. Um, is Oval. I think that could be, yeah. Well, it could be, you know, before it was all over. In fact, it is. 
because I've spent the last five minutes staring at that wane where we've just come in right there. So, oh, is that is that Keith? That's, that's Keith. It's either Keith or Keith's dad because that looks a bit older. Why are you looking at the naked men? Why are you putting oh, yeah. the naked men in your pocket? I like what's a hawk. <laughs> just something. Something, big. So, something wrong with you. Wrong. <laughs> oh dear, right. Jesus Christ. Let's keep looking, but this is a freaky, freaky house. Right. Heading back through. Oh, I don't think this is even worth looking in, but I'm going to stick my head in just to have a gander. Oh, look at the size of that mirror. That, that just doesn't go in here at all. Jesus. It is massive. It's what? Six and a half foot tall? Easy. Maybe seven foot tall? Easy with a little cherub on the top. Yeah. Yeah, but then it's right next to the toilet. Oh, God, yeah. How weird is that? Why, why would you want a mirror that big next to Bog so you can see yourself having a poo? And then look, there's just weird things everywhere. I think, isn't it? Yeah, but they don't match to anything. Look, and then there's like a... Pixie. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing goes. Bears it having a good look round today. Seems very interested in everything. Oh, the bath's under there. I've not even realised. Yeah. Ugh. What is that? I don't know what that is. Probably what we've studied outside. It's living though. It's alive. This is alive. There's things moving in it though. This is, this is a freaky, disgusting house. Heading back through. Andy, before you go any further, why are you on the wall? What is that all about? That's like almost part of the wall. A handmade cat, handmade carving. It would be amazing. Yeah, but it's, it's part of the wall. It is, isn't it? It's very strange. Oh. You know, like when you feel like someone's moving towards you. I felt, you know, like the air pressure almost when yeah. someone's coming towards you. I felt like that then, back in there. Didn't like that. Oh, I sort of wanna get, get in here and have Probably a look. Can get to that. Oh, maybe, might be worth coming and having a look from the other side. Yeah, There's pictures and all sorts in there. This is the room that I didn't want to look in. I don't know what it is about this room. I just didn't, I just felt like squashed up in here and you know, a bit claustrophobic. It's very loud though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, get that, get that, get that there. What's that? That letter. No, no, yes. Oh. yes. Look at that. Oh, look at this. What's that say? This indenture. Just a minute, let me see what that says there. It says, one sh shilling, one sixpence. I'm just trying to work out what year it's from. So you'd think the date would be on that stamp, but I can't see it. Look at that writing. Right, let me, because I, at the moment, oh look, it's sealed, proper seal as well. This is so good. Right, I need to just get square onto it so I can look at it properly. Oh, it'll have the date on here, I think. Here we go. 1,777. 1777. Yeah. Um, it says, between John Lewis of Wolverhampton in the county of Stafford of the one part and Thomas pit of the same place something other part i can't really read what it says i can't read that right at all i man. can read some of it some of it's not too bad to be fair but some of it is just really hard um like complete and ending during all which term the said apprentice and his said master I would love to know what all this says. Right, I'm going to try and do what I normally do. And there's always somebody that messages... Oh, I can't get it all in. Messages me and pauses it and reads it all. And if you want to tell me 
what it's talking about that would be really really appreciated can you open it up again sorry i know i shut it but there we go wow this oh it says about i reckon it's something to do with an apprenticeship because it says shall i one sec um it didn't say shall i will i one sec it says apprentice for and in something of his board and maintenance of the weekly sum of five shillings weekly and every week during all the something <laughs> oh of seven years so it sounds like he was going to be an apprentice for seven, seven years. years it's like a vet look at that that's so good and then with the oh they've actually got proper seal stamps like seals, yeah they? no but with the horses on they're really really good is there anything on the back page or is that it? No, that's it. What's that there behind as well? I was gonna ask you to look at that. I thought that was just envelope. No, no, it's something even bigger. Just be very, very careful with it. God almighty, you can't read any of that. Let's have a look. It says something about a sparrow. Can you just lift it so I can see the first bit? Because it usually says the date. Knocking, oh, I thought there's someone knocking. It's bare, isn't it? <sighs> right. It says. It don't say that. It says the county of Stafford, ironmonger, at this time being on perfect mind, and more more money. More money. Thanks be that. That is to say. Principally, first of all, I recommend my soul into this decent mamma. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, it says, in the name of God, amen. I didn't see that at the top. And then look, it's signed by a cross. There's just a cross there that says Gibbons. And then some more here, look, as well. Some more signatures at the bottom. I can't really show you this one enough because it's, it's just so big. I will go I'll scan over it. Is there another page as well? This is a little bit here. That's the little bit. Oh, look at it. Oh, it says something about someone deceased. Uh, it's just too much to read. It's like your brain goes mental read, trying to read that writing. It's and crazy. Mad, mad writing. That's so good though. Only if that's the same sort of age as well. Oh, that, oh no, that's that same one you were reading. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're reading first. I can't believe that. That's just sat on here with all this stuff just chucked about. <clears throat> yeah, there's needles there. Just watch your fingers. But that, that for me, is the best thing we've seen in here. So far. What is, what is Bear doing? Bear, are you all right, mate? Are you okay? Oh, he's going that way. You having a look round there? Go on then. <laughs> he's a fool. Right, let's have a look. Now, I didn't want to look in this room, but now I've seen that in here. I want to have a proper look round. There's all sorts of wood carvings and stuff, isn't there? I know. Oh, look at that as well. That's holding, the, that must be old. Because that's holding the beam up, unless it's been shoved in afterwards, look. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah, there is. There's like wood carvings and faces and fat cats all over. But how low is the ceiling in here? It's ridiculous. Just try not falling over. Because I feel like you're in a bit of a falling over mood tonight, although I can't say anything. <laughs> Did that just prove my point or yeah. what? Yeah, Oh. Nice though. It, it is nice, yeah, there's some good stuff. But why are all the clothes hung up in here though? Is it because he he moved downstairs to sleep down here, do you think? Because that's a bed, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it looks through a bed somewhere else, or the room, weren't there? Well, I don't know, there were one in here when we first started off. Yeah, but I think there's one in that room. Oh, is there? The big fireplace, yeah. Right. Yeah, just looking over here, there's more woodworking look. He likes his owls. Yeah. There's a lot of owls knocking about, I've noticed in here. 
I just had a look in those drawers as well and there's nothing really apart from a lot of old mouldy pants. So, and something that I thought was somewhat rude, but I, I think it were a... Um, it made you jump it. It did, I put my hand on it and it were a, a back massager, but I thought it was something else. Yeah. Has he gone outside? Yeah. Better not be in that river again. I have to get him back in again. Oh, look at the carving above the door as well there. You just come through. Right, I'll come through to you in a second. I just need to make sure he's all right. Right, so Bear suddenly appeared, missing a torch. And I found it after about two minutes of looking round because it's still lit up. But look where it is. This dog is a nightmare. It literally couldn't be more under stuff if it tried. Back in that bathroom, I knew you were knocking about under there. Now I can't even get to it without having to move everything that's on here, which is going to be an absolute nightmare. Right, on into the next room. Once again, look at the state of it on the floor in here. Oh, look. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't blame me. It's not me this time. But yeah, look at it. Oh. Oh. They're, they're the worst sort of buttons. The big, massive, fat ones. Don't like them at all. Oh, look at these. Have you seen these books? Oh, the thingy, right, it's got it back to front, I think. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you must turn that thing round. The viewfinder, that's it, flips over. That's it, stop shining your torch at me though. Yeah, not gonna see much with a lens cap on either. Right, have you seen these books? Here, look. Magazine of Art, 1898. Magazine of Art, 1892. You don't know what I'm looking at, do yeah. you? Yeah, the massive ones. Yeah. Get one. You, just, you might need two hands, so... Because they're not particularly the lightest things, I don't think. It's all fluffy. <laughs> oh, don't put... you such a girl. Put any gloves on to pick a book up. Yeah. We're not in, like... The Egyptian Museum or yeah. something like that. It is when you've got that lot all over it. It's only a bit of mould. You're still breathing it in. Right, open it right up. Oh, what's the behind the little thing there? Oh, yeah. So it's like proper fine, fine, fine art, isn't it? These things will be worth a fortune, you know. And they just... Scott. Lady Scott Moncrief. Yeah. Like I say, these things are just going to rack and ruin, aren't they? And they, what, 130 years worth of history? Something like that. Yeah. Artwork history. <coughs> Such a shame. Really is. And that's just the ones we've seen. There could be all sorts on there. I hate seeing books going to waste me. I really do. Not good, is it? No, not at all. Right. There's just stuff everywhere in here. That interesting stuff. Oh, these books in here look really good, Andy, as well. I have to have a look at them in a sec. Oh God. Is it all falling to pieces? Yeah. Not the way it front is. Oh yeah. Oh look at this. Like all different drawings of different African animals, isn't it, by the looks of things? That's good. Like all hand sketched, aren't they? Look like it, don't they? Yeah, and skeletons and stuff. That's really good. Oh, the leaves. Did you used to do that with leaves? Yeah. Oh, he did as well. I don't really know why. What was I don't the, either. What was the reason? Dry them out and flatten them. Yeah, and like preserve them. But I, for what reason? I don't really know. But it worked good. I used to like doing things like that. Anyway, let's go on into here. Oh, this is a weird room. Look at the windows. And the door. It's, that's really, really strange. Actually, I just noticed this as I was coming through. There's an eagle there. Oh, where did I see it now? Oh, yeah. Another little face in the wall. A little weird man next to the Monopoly set. But, yeah, don't you think it's odd? Because, look, this is like the outside of the building as well, look. Here. That's like a little old fashioned window. 
And this yeah. was like the front door at some point or something. Or the back door. Don't you think? Obviously it wouldn't have had this glass door on it. But look at the door frame. And the little tiny old window. For me, that's this is the old part of the back of the house. Yeah, some makeshift handle in it. Yeah, exactly. So this is part of the add-on again with the weird... Yeah. Like, they've just found some windows somewhere and just chucked them into a, a fake wall or something, haven't they? That's what it looks like to me. Oh, what's this book? Day book. This looks good. David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Stardust. There's a few David Bowie by the looks of things. I was going to say, I've got that. Have you? Mm -hmm. What, on record? On CD. Oh, yeah. Right. Open this up, then. Oh. Account bookmakers. Oh, is it just account books? Ah. <gasps> no. Oh, look. World War II fighter jets, by the looks of things. Oh, 1910. World War. No, these are... Well, it looks like these were accounting books, look. Do, yeah, they were. And they've stuck it over the top from 1910. Go on then, keep going. Yeah, definitely 19... It says 1910 in that well, top corner. Well, the are from 1910, aren't they? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But then these are obviously from later. Although these... That looks pretty mm -hmm. old. But yeah, look, there's all sorts of... It, it's almost a shame, though, that it's over, over the top of that. Yeah. But yeah, look at these. That's Turkish planes. Some of the present Turkish equipment. Oh, hurricane, typhoon, swordfish. Never heard of that one. Bufight. Oh, Bri Bo bow fighter. Yeah, Bristol. We were talking about Bristol. Bristol well, planes like, a few weeks back. Messerschmitt. I've heard of that. Is that German though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder when these are from. Because there's no. They're all cut outs, aren't they? Out of. Out of Oh, Boeing model 345. Super Fortress. Not, not the Flying Fortress, it's Super Fortress. Yeah. Oh, look. We keep seeing blimpy type things. Is it a blimp? Is it classed as a blimp? No, an airship. Yeah, but what's the difference between a blimp and an airship? Blimp's a lot smaller, isn't it? Is it blimp unmanned? Yeah, I think it's like a weather balloon. Right. Oh, Could look at that. Me. The air horse. That's a bit bizarre, isn't it? It's got three rotors on it. Crazy. That's bad. They bump into each other. Oh. There's all sorts. This is really... Somebody would love this, you know. Even though it's just been stuck in out of, like, magazines and things like that. People would absolutely love to have this. It's history right there. This is another one where people will say, oh, it needs to go in a museum, this. Because it does. All these cutouts and stuff. A lot of stuff in here needs to be in a museum. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you're well, you're one of them. I, I should be. <laughs> Preserve me forever. Yeah. In formaldehyde. Look at that. Look at that. This. The tiny tandem. That's a bizarre helicopter. That is. It's a bit like a Chinook, isn't it? But, but. Yeah. A lot smaller. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's made out of wood. It probably is. Oh, what is that? It's like a Vulcan. World's first four-jet operational Delta Wing bomber, the Avro 698. Wow. Let's not go through them all then, because no. we'd be here all day. It it's like the biggest, fattest book in the world, that as well. So, right. Let's keep looking. Because there is there's some proper little gems knocking about, isn't there? There really, really is. It is. But it's one of these again where there's a lot of tat as well. Hidden... It's all the good stuff hidden like in the, the tap. Oh, yeah. Right. Heading upstairs. What have we got on the walls? What are they called now, these? Is it... I always want to call it a lithograph, but I don't think it is, is it? You know, when it's etched... Yeah. ...on metal. I don't know. Oh. Pissarro. I quite like that. That looks like it's on... It's like pottery or something. It does smell funny up here. It does. I like this room. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then, let's have a look. Oh, some more like Chinese or Japanese 
Things knocking about. Oh, it smells really weird. Oh my lord. What is happening in here? Oh, Andy. This is madness. Look at that massive Buddha's head. That is huge. Massive speaker. There's speakers there? everywhere. There was another big speaker downstairs. There's one on the wall somewhere. Yeah, there were one above that big, you know, the door through to that cupboardy thing. Yeah. There were one above there. There were the one that was made of a wall. And now there's two big ones in here. But look at the stuff. Look at these. Delta Airlines. Little plane there. Another one there. Oh, these things. Look at that. Look at that picture. It's there's a, good, don't there's it? something almost spellbinding about that. It's just the colours are so vivid. Oh, look at the little face hidden up in the corner there. I like that. I, I wouldn't have it in my house. Don't no, get me wrong. Really. I'm just getting but come to life. It is. It's a bit freaky. And then look. Got like Buddha's heads. What's in the little silver thing there? Oh, God. Standing on a pack of new pyjamas now. Is it cigarette case? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, cigarette case. They are good. Look at that. Do you reckon he is well travelled then and he's brought like these things back? That'd cost a bit in extra baggage charges, wouldn't it? Yeah. Definitely. But it weighs a bit. Look at all the books. The books on the unexplained as well there. The unexplained. Was it George C. Clarks or something unexplained? Or Mysterious World? I don't, like I don't know. On TV. I'm not sure. But then there's a book on the encyclopedia of occult and supernatural murder behind there as well. What's it made out of that? <gasps> oh my lord, Andy, I thought you were going to break that then. That's mad. I, thought, I literally thought you were going to drop yeah, that on the I'd floor. I'd have died if I'd dropped that. Oh, it just slipped out your fingers. You've caught it now. Oh, lord. That scared me to death. <laughs> what is wrong with you today? God knows. You can't even stay on your own feet and then you're dropping stuff. But yeah, look. Stuff up here as well. The Occult. That's a book on the Occult. There's a book on Divine Encounters. He was writing about um, like, a like angels and stuff, weren't he, downstairs? Yeah. And then what we got over there? Underworld. Witchcraft and Magic. Medicine and Drugs. He's, he's, oh, he's a bit Dracula. of a... Is it? He's a bit of a weird one. Good, good though. What's, sort of... what's the Etrusians? What? The Etrusians. I don't know. No idea. Have you seen this bed, by the way? It is massive. Like the footboard and the headboard, although the headboard doesn't really match. It doesn't, does it? No. Although, oh no, look, it's behind it. That's been added an extra, but... From the things I've seen. Oh, what you found under there? The things I've seen about him. I think he's a bit of a, a sex fiend as well. No, I don't because I hate to see what's underneath these. But it's a big looks like a massive picture painting that's been covered up. There's another little one under there, so be careful. This is huge. I wonder what it's a painting of. Where has he even had that? Lay it down. Stop just you looking at it. We want to look at it. Oh. Wow. That is big. Is it real? Crocodile. Is it? Yeah. What about the one underneath? Oh, well, there's little, loads. Oh, well, little ones, look. Oh, I quite like that, you know. Just turn it a little bit so I can't... There's no shine. There we go, look. Oh, that's... I quite like that. What else we got under here? Oh, there's loads of writing on this one. This strange image of the sleeping Christ and the skull of death triumphant appeared in the shape of a cotton cloth under the something wheelbarrow in 1988. There's, what? There's a picture of a cotton cloth. Oh, so what he's saying is... This yeah. is a picture of Christ and something else. Yeah. And he drew painted it 
based on that that fell down the back of the bed. Actually, you can see it. Yeah, yeah I can see it from here. Yeah, there's a face there. It does look a bit like Jesus, to be fair. And it's by, it says, painted here by Keith Creswell. Who was the, so he's painted it. I wonder if he's painted all of these. Could do. Because that's not, that's good quality, you know, that look. Yeah. That's like really good. So it seems like he has. So he's a poet and an artist. I like that. What's this one here? That looks good. This one's 1930 one. something, it says. Oh, look at that. That's oh, trying to knock up the shine. That's really good. What's it say? Let me have a look. Turn it, no, turn it over. There's no writing on the front, is there? 10th of November, 1931. George Toothbrush. I don't know what, it, I don't know what any of that says. So, and that's... Pegasus. A very long-necked Pegasus. What were the other ones? Keep an eye on that so it doesn't fall. Yeah, imagine. It'd be like proper Del Boy or something, getting that on your head. You know, I'm not as bothered about that one. What's this last one here? Oh, there's another one with writing on it, look. The Ghost of Jack Humphreys. Let's have a look. Ooh! Mm. Now that's not quite the same standard, but it says the ghost of Jack Humphreys, something 1977 to 1981. So I'm guessing he's painted it based on Somebody. some ghost he's seen. Oh, that's really weird. Don't you think this guy's a bit odd? Really odd. But in a good way though. No, not in a weird way. Well, it is in a weird way. It is weird. That is drawing ghosts that he thinks are in his house and Jesus that fell down back at Settee. So he is a little bit weird. Yeah. Now, but in a good way, I kind of like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving it in here. There's another big oil paint in there and a and a and what looks like a dead man. It's wrapped up. Oh, I didn't know there were more than that. That's 1981, Keith Creswell. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. Like, once again, it's not really something I'd have up in my house, but it's a bit mad, isn't it? Oh, tiny you, you talented guy. Got to give him credit for how talented he was. I, I, the thing is, looking at round the house as well. Oh, look. Um, he seemed to have took pride in this place. There's loads of photos of the garden and everything, isn't there? And yeah. it was so lovely. And now so kept. it's just... And to rack and ruin. Yeah, and someone's rifled through all this stuff. Oh, that... Even that dog, though. Look at the eyes on that dog. It's almost got human eyes. It definitely has got almost human eyes. That is a very, very disturbing picture, I think, that. Right, I just wanted to go and have a look at this. I'm sorry, but that... I can't even... I can't even do this. I can't even get in. Not Einstein. No, it isn't Einstein, I don't think. It's just a man with Tash, but... He's dead, I'm sure he's dead. I'm sure it's one of these photos where they're dead. Look. And have you seen outside the window? Everything's grown over the top of the windows as well. And another oil painting. That looks older, that one. There's some quality there, you know. There isn't there? Some real detail. Every leaf look like it's done, been done separately. That Good talent. Yeah. I don't think that's him that's done that. I think that's older. And a couple of Buddhas there as well. Would it be Buddhas or Buddai? Buddhas. Would it? Yeah. Why would it not be Buddhai? I don't know. I think it is Buddhas. Okay, why is it any different to Rastafarians, though? No, that's just Rastafarians. No, it's Rastafari. Is it? Yes. Oh. So that's what I'm saying, you just, why would it be any different? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it's Buddhas. <laughs> anyway. You know, to have cow eye, just cows. Well, yeah, that's different, though. Hippopotami. You can't. Hippopotamuses. <laughs> I think it might be Hippopotami. Is it Hippopotami? Yeah, exactly. 
That must be. Hippopotami. Right, look at this. This looks good, Andy. Yeah, look. This, I should open the first thing. It's from 1909. I don't know what it is. Look at the state of my hands. Oh, Reynard the Fox. I remember this. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Reynard the Fox? No. I think it was my mum that used to go on about Reynard the Fox. I went to the south of France once with her and she was going on about the man that lived there was called Reynard the Fox. But yeah, look, Thomas Cartwright, 1905, 1908. Well, what, in the south of France? Yeah, so it's, like, oh, it's Reynard, he's a right fox. Well, me, me dad were there, so I should hope not. That's, that's his name. <laughs> your mum's pet name for your dad. No, it was the owner of the place we stayed in. Reynard's misdeeds. I, I'm telling you now, I've, I remember this. I remember my mum going on about it. I wonder if that's like a first edition or something. It's in a bit of a bad state. Mm -hmm. But that's good, that. That's really good. Now, these books that are behind this are a bit of a mishmash. Look, Heaven's Mirror. Then you've got... The International Directory of Civil Aircraft, 99 to 2000. And then you've got The Lost Gospel. And then The Satanic Bible. Two of them. What is going on here? How weird is that? Why would you have... what? I didn't even know if there was a Satanic Bible. Fire from Heaven. Look, he's a bit of a hot bod, isn't he? He is. Really is. Look, Atlantis of the North, the Golden Dawn, a practical occultism in daily life. He's weird. <laughs> very strange. His house is probably cursed, you know that. I man. know. Literally cursed. Very, very odd. Andy, I was right. What? You know what I was saying about him being a bit of, bit of a pervy weirdo? Yeah. He's got a book on... Tantrism, its secret principles and practices, right next to the Order of the SS. So he's got... Well, tantrism's like chanting, isn't it? No, tan tantric sex, isn't it? Tantric sex is where you, like, go for, like, six days without stopping. I can't go for fucking six minutes. <laughs> no. Right, get out of breath. Did you hear that? No, I thought it was you on here. No, we were over there. It's rats. It's rats. They're in route in the ceiling above us. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good, don't go. Yeah, they were over, I heard it run from over there. It's in the ceiling above us. With that one. Bloody hell, so that's that's King Rat, that one. Right, this next room is another one of those that is going to be a nightmare to try and stand up. But there is stuff in here. Right, and a lot of it is hidden away at the other side. Oh, look at all those over there. It's all Japanese stuff. Like a big bullfrog, uh, some sort of cougar or panther or something cougar another and, cougar and then right there's no you can't have a cougars in your way of thinking they're dead because it's got to be an older woman so they, they're going to be dead and be a corpse heading round into this other weird little bit what is this all about here why is there so many cigarettes there and in there as well I'm guessing he used to come and stand in here and smoke. Yeah. You know, rather than do it in house. Which is good, but then you would at least throw them away, wouldn't you? Oh, I can't even get through you. Oh, this is like a arachnophobia, isn't it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, with all the cobwebs. Oh, no. Right, I'm coming. Oh. See what you mean. These cobwebs are absolutely horrendous. There's going to be, oh look, they're all in here. Loads and loads of spiders. There's loads of them. It's going to be like, have you seen Harry Potter? 
Yeah. Have you seen Chamber of Secrets? Um, I where, can't remember. Where they go into the woods and then there's a massive spider yes. with all its babies. Yes. It's like that. I only know it because I literally, for the first time ever, watched it this weekend. Yeah. Because all the, um, they were all on Netflix, weren't they, sir? Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, all the Harry Potters went on Netflix. Oh, my Lord. What what is, coffee. What is going off in here? Oh, look at the heraldic shield thing up there. The speaker up there, look. Another one up there. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it played throughout the whole house. It's got a nice stereo system in there. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if I want to walk across this. Is that a rat? Oh, yeah, the squeaking. There are walls, I can hear them. You know what, I ain't seen Bear for a while. Is Bear catching rats? Oh, this is going to be one of my worst, worst nightmares. <laughs> Literally, I can hear they're, them. They're squeaking and they're scratching and they're just ready to pounce. They're all round us as well. They've got the fill in here, though, aren't they? They're absolutely high on coffee, that's what it is. <laughs> Listen. They're everywhere. Where's Bear? 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 They're fucking like literally here. What are they taking? What? Oh my God, Andy, they're like literally all round us. Proper surrounded. <laughs> Get up. No, no, stop. I'm telling you. Oh. I'm going to lob one, one of its heads off. If it comes near me, I'm going to stab it to death. Bear? I think Bear's behind there. Mm. No, behind the cupboards, underneath the sink or How something. Did you get under there? Oh! <laughs> Fucking hell, Andy. <laughs> Don't. Don't start kicking stuff because they'll run out and up your leg. What is that? That's fucking <laughs> fish. Koi carp. Bear. Bear boy. Bear boy. Oh, I hope this shows up on camera because they, they're just running round us. What, you get, you're getting multiple knives now or what? No. Are you putting it away? Put it away. I, I, think, I want to go. No, we've got to find the dog. The dog's been eaten. It's, it's just, it's, it's gone. Every man for himself, run. I wonder if they've all like piled on top of him and eaten him to death. <laughs> we need to find him seriously. There is one round here though. Isn't there yeah, there's one just here. It's like behind here, behind the microwave. Bear boy. <whistles> Bear. Bear! Bear boy! Oh no. Where is Bear? I'm going to have to find him. I'm going to have to go down there and find him. I don't think he's in there. I think he's in the room somewhere. Yeah, but where? Where? We can't even see his torch. <gasps> Might be you. Might hey. be you. Oh God. Right, give me a minute. Bear! Bear, what are you doing? I found him. Yeah, but you I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing, Bear? What are you doing? What's happening? He's just not moving. He stood up. Bear. Right. So you've just been round the house. All over. Shouting. All over. I've been stood in here shouting my head off, Anna. Yeah. And I've just thought, right, does that go round a corner? 
I have, you know what? I've been absolutely pooing my pants that there's something wrong with him. And well, then I, I got lost. Yeah, exactly. And then I've gone round and stuck this camera around the corner. And he's there. What are you doing, Bear? Come on. Bear? Bear, are you possessed? I, the thing is, I can't get in. There's not enough room for me to get in. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go in with the rats. But the problem is, you're gonna need to film it because I wanna see what he's looking at. So you go in. If the rats are out and coming out, you know that. Yeah, but what's he doing? He's like being possessed by the rats. Where is he? To your left. God. God, it stinks and all in here. What are you looking at? Right? Hey? Is he still not moving? You just look at the carrier bags on the wall. I wonder if they're in the carrier bags on the wall. Oh, don't. Just don't. Are you coming? How have you got up there anyway? I don't understand how he's got up there. Oh, it absolutely onks. That's it. Yeah. Are you grab him? Right, there they come in. I don't understand how he's got up there. Bear. Come on. Come on. What are you looking at in there? Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. What have you been doing all this time? Ty, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. Go on. Go on then. Out you go. Out. That way. That way. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you did scare me there. The thing is, he didn't, he didn't make a single noise. He didn't. He just... Whoa! Jesus. What is wrong with you tonight? That much shit in here. Oh, just be careful though, because there were rats here. I saw one climb up on the outside of the window there. Did you? Yeah. They're just everywhere. They're in the ceiling and everything. They're all over. But I think they've probably shifted now because... They've got free running, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. They all shifted out of our way for now, aren't they? Yeah. Go on then, dog. Let's get out of here before we get attacked. I actually, I genuinely was worried for him that they'd all ganged up on him and eaten him. Yeah. But yeah, that will... Bizarre. I because there was no noise, wasn't it? No, he like just... walking about, he, he was in a trance. He was like in a trance, staring at that wall. I wonder if it's that curse. The voodoo curse. The voodoo curse. <laughs> right. Get out of here, you crazy animal. Go on, you the animal. <laughs> Go on, then. Right. I have never seen us look as rough as this after an explore. I've never been so tired in my life. I'm exhausted. It's what, what time? Half two? Two o'clock, two o'clock, and we've got a three, just over three Six hour hours. drive home, and I'm already exhausted. <sighs> what from falling in water, climbing around that building, and then searching for bear, heart pounding, thinking, oh no, something Lost like him. rats have eaten him. I didn't think he'd run off. I thought like he were going to be dead under a cupboard somewhere with his throat ripped out, <laughs> something like. Because they're bad when they caught you corner them, aren't they, rats? So they can be, bad, yeah, they can be vicious. So I was genuinely worried, and I've never been worried while we've been exploring, but it's just, there was no noise. Yeah. Normally when you shout him, he'll move about a bit or something. Yeah, if you're scurrying. Yeah, or he'll be chasing something around, but he didn't move. And we were there for, what, like in that room at first for 10 minutes, yeah. then you walked off and I carried on shouting. And I, went in, I went into every single room upstairs, yeah. everywhere. He was metres away from me and didn't move an inch. It was like he was possessed. It was really weird. But he was in the zone, weren't he? He was like in the, right. in the rat zone. He was ready for killing. Yeah, exactly. 
Right, we're going to go because it's so, so late. Please subscribe to Bear's channel if you haven't. He's so close to 10,000 subscribers. He's like less than 500 subscribers away. And I'd really like him to get 10,000 as soon as. Anyway, love you all and we'll see you soon. If you make it home. Yeah, if one of us doesn't fall asleep while driving. Anyway, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.